What's up YouTube, Webbers5 here coming at you today with Q&A number 56. So today's questions are brought. So today I've got two sets of questions, one from Dark Tradition 84 as per usual, and I've also got a question from Spark Tech today, so I'll go with Spark Tech's question first. Also guys, before I actually get into the Q&A, I do want to apologise that this is a bit delayed. I spent last, I spent last week, I did, I had a day with my best friend since this weekend I'm going away to the United States for two weeks, so I just wanted to catch up with some friends before I go before I go away, so that's what it. So last week I hung out with my best friend. Tonight I'm gonna to hang out with my gaming guys before I go away as well. But now that we've cleared that up, QA. So Spark Tech has asked me. Which characters from the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime do you associate with some of your friends from Locals? For example, I will always associate our good friend Richie with Yuki himself because of his love for the Dark Magician. Well, yes, I agree with your point. I do agree with your point there that I would probably associate Richie with Dark with Yuki as well. Because naturally, because as you said, he's a huge fan of Dark Magician. Also, he's an avid lover of classic Yu-Gi-Oh! So, gotta go with it there. It also... He also, Richie also naturally plays lots of decks based around Yugi's monsters, so definitely like that. As for everyone else at Locals, I'm not really too sure who I associate with which character, because frankly, I probably more associate players with specific decks that I know they play, as opposed to like characters. So, for example, most people, everyone knows me, everyone at Locals pretty much knows me as an Endymion player. Uh, Spark Tech, you, I would associate you primarily as Sword Soul. Uh, w let me think, who else? Max, I would probably associate with Infernity and Old Pearly. That being said, I do tr really know Max as an Infernity player, so yeah, I would pretty much very easily associate him with Callan quite easily. Uh, but, but yeah, and also naturally Sean. I just know Sean as a sprite player, probably the best sprite player that I know. So yeah, I'm pretty much more of associating players with decks that I know that they use as opposed to characters from the anime, but it's possible, good, so it is something that I could think about in the future, so I'll have, a, I'll have a keep that in the back of my head and have a think of it maybe while I'm away. And the last six questions are from Dark British 84 with a slight comment beforehand referring to the previous Q&A. Never knew that about fur hires. It seems I was misinformed. Sorry to put you through that question, Sergeant. So, it's all right, man. All good here? Question one. As you know, me and Matt and Allison want to really into September 2007 format games. What do you think it would take to get the guys at our locals interested in that format too? Uh, so as I recall, you guys told me that September 2007 is what was known as Perfect Circle. Um, I don't really know very much about that format, but I think in terms of getting people interested in it, I think that's essentially just a matter of asking the guys at Locals what they would think about doing a format based around Perfect Circle. I could, I could also, I'm also down at Tabletop Republic tonight, I could maybe ask, I could ask them if for one of their alternate formats they'd consider doing September 2007. So, yeah, I could, have, I could supposedly have a go at asking, but actually also you could ask the guys as well yourself. Uh, two, you've played Cash Tira a lot lately. Have you given up on Endymion? No, I, have n I will never give up on Endymion as long as it is playable, and it is most certainly playable. I've only been on Cash Tira, re I've only been on Cash Tira recently because when I was... Because essentially that was the deck. Once I started picking up bits from it, and I pretty much had the deck sorted out, I decided this is what I want to play for the Masters for my Masters A Invitational. So I just spent a lot of time playing the deck, trying to learn it, study it, get how I'm supposed to use it up here to hopefully give myself the best chance of winning. Unfortunately, I got absolutely destroyed by a Sword Soul when it happened. But I, but I enjoyed the experience of learning Kashtera. And it's also been quite a long time since I've been on an Xyz deck, so it was a nice change of pace for me. Three, what if Endymion got a quarter century secret printing? I, lo I would love that. Love it. 
doesn't mean it doesn't mean it's gonna happen. I mean Endymion's been I mean Endymion has been around for several years and ever since the structure deck came out, the only card within that structure deck to have been reprinted was Servant in an OTS pack. They still haven't rarity about Magister, which I really want them to do, but let's be honest, they're not going to, because Konami really doesn't like Pendulum that much. I mean, I say that, they did just release some pretty decent Magispect support coming up in Phantom Nightmare. Is it Phantom Nightmare? I think it's Phantom Nightmare. Anyway, I saw the new support on that. This looks freaking insane. I haven't been, like, inspired to make a pe new Pendulum deck in ages, but this is actually tempting me into maybe wanting to make Magispect. I'll think about it. That being, I mean, that being said, Age of Overlord, the Zark support does look really cool, but I'm not sure if I want to go into making another Zark into a Supreme King deck. Anyway, so Pendulum's actually getting some decent support now, which is pretty cool. So, I don't know, I'll just have to wait and see if I actually want to build anything around some new Pendulum decks. Four. Can you believe it's been nine years since Pendulums came into the game? Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, that's pretty mad. Like next, like next year will be t next year will be ten years. Crazy, crazy. And Pendulum has just had one of those very interesting journeys that they that at the time when they were released they were sub okay. Well, the, well, the first set they were like, cool. This is a mechanic, but it's not doing very much. New challenges came out. Cliff. Next two sets, huge amount of Cliff or Sport. Then they started to dominate. Yeah. So yeah, over the so yeah, definitely been an definitely been an interesting mechanic and in how they and how Konami's been with it. Like naturally during their full during their huge format, they were huge in it. Then then Konami decided they were too good and they got nerfed with the new master rule, which was justified because they were a little bit they were a, they are a little bit too good in that mechanic and now they're just a bit more balanced. Then throughout most of these. Of uh, Reigns era, we didn't really get a huge amount of pendulum support, like just bits here and there. And over the last sets, again, just here and there. But now, more recently, it seems like they are going for a bit more with pendulum, which I'm finding questioning as to why Konami is doing this. I'm not complaining, but it is questioning because they haven't really done a huge amount of pendulum support in the past few years. So, yes, very interesting to see. Uh, five, if you could be in a movie of your choosing, what would it be? Oh, that is hard. That is hard to say. Like, I'm an avid, I'm an avid lover of Marvel films. I would love to be in a Marvel film, but then I'd have to run the risk of me just, you know, getting killed off. Additionally, I wouldn't, also, I don't know what hero I'd want to be or what powers I would want to have. But that, be but that being said, in the newest updates in the MCU, naturally, Sam, Sam Wilson has become the new Captain America. But I know in the com, I know like in the comics, there is has been some when he became Captain America, there was someone else that took over as the Falcon. So I probably wouldn't mind being the next. I don't, wouldn't mind being the next Falcon. That'd be pretty cool. But that being said, based off the plot line, it's probably going to be Torres, based off the comics. Um, one thing I could potentially try and go for if I was to ever, like, get into acting, like, wait and see if Marvel's gonna do, like, the live-action version of Spider-Man with Miles Morales. I think I could make a pretty decent Miles Morales as Spider-Man. But who knows? I probably wouldn't. But yeah, I think if I was to be in a movie, I'd probably want to be in a Marvel movie, even if I am just one of those expendable people that gets killed off very quickly. And question six. Of all the other ways of dueling, which is your favourite? The choices being Battle Royals, Tag Team, Endurance, Raid Boss. I know you only ever did one of these with your evil heroes, but I had it anyway. And Pegasus Challenge. Um. So from the ways that we've done... So I am a big fan of Battle Royals. I am a big fan of Battle Royals. They're very fun. Sometimes, sometimes a bit annoying when people are like ganging up on someone usually me because I'm being unfair but that's justifiable I get it it's not my fault can't help being good <laughs> big I can't help being big-headed though which I need to work on Ta 
Uh, tag team, I do also quite like for how they play out, but naturally there are some conflictions with how you play in tag team. You really need to like see if you, you and your partner have a good amount of synergy between your decks. I think I remember for the first tag team tournament that they did at Dead Universe, I paired with my friend Sam, who was play and she was playing Yang Zing, and I was on Pendulum Magician. Like, the decks worked pretty well together, but we did have a slight issue when she was in the position of activating Yang Zing creation, because it locks the users into only being able to summon Synchro monsters from the extra jet, which kind of locked me out of it, which kind of locked me out of it. But we found a way to make it, but we found a way to make it work. And, and naturally, Pegasus challenges are always pretty interesting, but that also, but naturally, a Pegasus challenge is good or bad depending on what rule set you're going with. Like, if it's like set your deck in this specific way, makes it pretty decent and interesting and fair. But then again, but also that time we did, we tested out my Pegasus Ultimate Challenge where I was calling out new rulings every few minutes. That was very, I'm not gonna lie, that was very amusing and very fun. I wouldn't mind doing one of those again at some point, but I'd have to see who would be interested. But in terms of which one's my favourite, um, I would probably just have to say Battle Royales, because it's just something that we do quite frequently, and they are very fun. And on that note, guys, that's all the questions I have for t today. So thank you very much, Spark Tech and Dark Tradition 84, for your questions. Very amusing, as always. And if anyone else has any questions for me, I do these Q&As every, every Wednesday after, afternoon UK time. However, that being said, I will be missing out. I will be skipping over the next two weeks of Q&As while I'm away in the United States, but I will get right back into them as soon as I'm back. So get your questions posted and I'll get those sorted once I'm back. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you after my holiday.